Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it, uh, it's the end of the uh, first special session today, obviously. Uh, this uh, special session was a failure, and uh, I'm disappointed. Uh, I'm disappointed that uh, we were unable to uh, do, or I should say the legislature was un unable to do, what their only job is, and that is to pass a budget. Uh, that, that was the reason they were called in, uh, and uh, they have failed. Uh, they have known about uh, this um, issue and this problem for a number of months, and uh, the failure, first failure occurred in the regular session. Uh, we called them back in in this special session, and uh, they have failed to pass a budget. Uh, we will be calling them back uh, at a later date. Uh, we have not decided uh, what that time will be yet. Uh, we will continue to work uh, with, uh, with groups uh, across the state that will be affected by a drastic cut in the general fund budget. And we'll be working with legislators also, uh, as well as other people who are interested in passing this budget uh, and we'll continue to do that over the next uh, few weeks uh, and then at that uh, in the at the appropriate time I will call them back in and uh, uh, we hopefully will get a budget before October the 1st I'll open it up now for questions Governor, what do you plan to do differently you've tried you've tried revenue tax increases Uh, you know, the only only person that's been consistent in, in all of this has been me and my office. And uh, uh, we have to fundamentally change the way we budget in this state or we will never solve this problem. And that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to push that. Uh, we have made progress on that. Uh, and, and now I hear people talking about many of the things that we originally proposed uh, going back to uh, March the 3rd, when we first went into session in the, in the regular session. Uh, so I, I can see movement, uh, and we'll just have to wait and, and see how that progresses. Is the centerpiece of what you're trying to do still revolving around tax increases? Have, we have to have taxes. Uh, if we don't have a, a, uh, at least uh, a certain number of fair taxes, uh, we will not be able to solve this issue. I think, the, I think that uh, bringing growth money over into the general fund is part of our plan and I still think it is the only workable way uh, to solve this issue and uh, we've always proposed using the tax, uh, using the use tax uh, as that uh, uh, growth money that needs to be brought over to the general fund. But we must fundamentally change the way we budget and, and so that uh, the general fund has growth money. Uh, as the economy picks up, what we mean by growth money, as the economy picks up, the amount of money in the general fund will grow. Uh, and if we don't have that, we're not going to solve this problem. And we'll be dealing with this for the next 70 years like we did the first 70 years. <laughs> well, do you think that we're going to get 140, uh, however, however many there, 140 people over there all on the same page? We're not ever going to do that. Uh, and and as you, if you're over in the state house, which obviously you are, uh, you know that uh, there are about 140 different ideas over there. Uh, we have set a very clear, concise way of solving this issue. And, and, and the solution is to bring the use tax over and pass some really fair taxes in this state and uh, we can solve the problem. No, well, we need, we need money for uh, 26, uh, for this budget starting October the 1st, which would be the 2016 budget. And there is no gambling money or no gambling plan out there that will put one single penny 
uh, into the 2016 budget. So we can't depend on gambling uh, as, the, uh, as the solution for this. Now, I, I'm, I, I've never been opposed to the people's right to vote on a lottery, uh, but if we put that in now as part of this, uh, then that will be the centerpiece of it. And I don't want that to be the centerpiece of it. Uh, I, I want us to fundamentally change the way we budget in this state and do it right the first time, and then we can look at some of these other things. That's right. Okay. That's right. Can you use that deadline? Do you plan to use that deadline maybe to leverage some lawmakers and get some commitments from them um, during the second session? Well, I, I don't think they will be ready to come back in uh, in a week or two. And so I, I think that uh, we need to let uh, some of the pressure build, and it's beginning to do that across the state, uh, from uh, uh, interest groups who are affected by these drastic cuts. And so we will work hard to get that message out, just like we've been doing for the last uh, nine months. Uh, I've been the only one out there who has said that we have to have some taxes to solve this problem. Uh, and uh, of course, I had agreement from the leadership on that uh, before I started. Uh, they were going to support that, uh, and they have not been supporting it uh, as much as they should, but they are making efforts. And so, uh, I, I will say that um, the budgets that have been passed by the House and Senate are, are certainly unacceptable and unworkable. Uh, and obviously the, uh, the House yesterday thought the Senate's budget was embarrassing. Uh, and they voted 92 to 2 to reject it. Uh, I think that sent a strong message. Uh, certainly I would like to have some in writing. Uh, you know, uh, if you have them in writing, at least I can give you the names of the ones who said they were going to do something and y'all can publish it in the paper. Governor, Governor will you still be seeking? Governor, what, what is the, in your opinion, what is the biggest obstacle in the legislature? Uh, I, I think that uh, we have to have uh, continual uh, good leadership uh, and if we have that, uh, I believe that we can bring around enough people to, uh, to solve this problem. Uh, and, you know, the Senate has not had to deal with this. It's all been on the House. And the House, uh, they've made a lot of progress. Uh, they have not quite gotten there yet, but they've made a lot of progress. And I've been very proud of the House. And the Senate just has not had to deal with it. So it's easy for them to say there is no appetite over here for taxes. Well, they haven't had to deal with it, uh, but they are going to have to deal with it. And uh, it's going to get to a point uh, when we call them the next time, they're going to have to deal with it. Governor, are you yes, still going to seek the What does that say to, to, to commit to your plan before you would agree to call it uh, Wednesday? What does that say about your trust level in, in the guys across the street? Well, uh, you know, I have been told many things that have not come to be. Uh, and so uh, when that happens, uh, you know, your trust level does go down. And so I believe that if someone tells you something, they should live up to it, uh, unless they can't. I, I can see situations that arise when they have to come back and say, you know, Governor, I, I said I was going to do this. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to do something else. But I think if they tell you something, they, they ought to live up to what they say. Now we need uh, approximately 300 million uh, to solve this long term. Uh, and that's what everyone who comes in my office says, Governor, we need to try to solve this problem long term. That's what they tell me. And, and so we need approximately $300 million to do that. What have you seen this special session that makes you believe that we can get it done the next time? Well, actually, I have seen some movement. Uh, I really have, especially in the House. And I've a, I actually seen some leadership movement in the Senate. And I've been very proud of people like uh, Senator Clyde Chambliss, uh, who spoke up yesterday and said, you know, I'm not for taxes, but I'm willing to vote for them if it takes this to solve this problem. So when you see people like that, that are freshmen, that are willing to stand up and, and say this, uh, that, that's good. I see uh, movement uh, on the House side, uh, and I think that they're on the verge of really making some tough decisions that I believe will help us solve this long term. Governor, 
Uh, well, you know, they came in session on uh, March the 3rd, and they knew that their only job was to really have two budgets, an education budget and a general fund budget. Uh, they failed the first time. Uh, they knew they had all summer to work on that. Uh, I can call a special session at any time, uh, and I set the agenda. And so uh, they knew that I was going to call a special session, and they know that I'm going to call another one. Uh, no, I have been the only one that's been consistent with a, a really a plan that works. Uh, I hear all of these other plans. Uh, gambling was thrown into the mix, and of course that diverted everyone's thinking, and uh, everyone th thought, well, that's the easy way out. We won't have to vote on taxes. We're going to have to vote on taxes. That's what we're going to have to have. We're going to have to have some increased fair taxes in this state to solve this problem. Well, it's, uh, it should be embarrassing to the legislature. Uh, you know, I think that, um, uh, I would say that there are so many over there that really want to solve this. There really are, and I see more now than I did at the beginning of this session. Uh, but you know, the question was asked, uh, did I give them enough time? Well, you know, they came in and then immediately took three weeks off. And then they came back and really didn't have enough time to finish what they were going to finish or should have finished. So, uh, but we've got time for one more session because we have to work on this for a while. Uh, and so um, there will be a, a tough, some tough decisions made. Uh, and the decisions will be adequately fund the essential services of government in this state or have drastic cuts that will hurt people. And that's what we need to always remember. These cuts are not just to fund archives or to fund Medicaid or to fund an agency. These cuts affect people's lives. They affect people who work for the government. Uh, they affect the lives of people that these agencies serve every day. And so it really boils down to are, are we willing to make these drastic cuts and hurt the lives of the people of this state? Are we willing to close down state parks? Are we willing to close down hospitals in this state? Are we willing to tell the children of this state that they can't get immunizations? Are we willing to say that we're not gonna treat the mentally ill in this state? Are we willing to do that? I'm not. Uh, and I certainly believe that the majority of legislators, when they finally make that decision, they will not be also. Uh, well, we're, we're going to get more people involved as far as the uh, pressure that will be put on them. Uh, and uh, uh, so we will get everyone, that uh, every stakeholder that's involved, uh, we will just get more people involved, just like we have in the past. We've worked with these, and it's just taken a long time to bring everyone together uh, and, and get everyone's minds right, okay? The They're close. Yes, that was the primary reason. The primary reason was this. I wanted to go ahead and call it and call it quickly so that the, the gambling machine did not have time to ramp up and, and build up. Uh, and, and so that's why we called it. It was a calculated decision to do that. I haven't played any games. I, I've had a very clear message from the beginning. I've never varied. My, my plan has been the same from the beginning as it is today, and it's a workable plan, and it's really the only workable plan out there that's been, that, that's been put out there. Thank you, guys. All Thank right. you, guys.